Hey, thanks for stopping by. So if I'm laughing by the time you get to this, that's because this is about try number five of trying to set the real-time clock on my K2. So this K2 has the KAF2 with real-time clock option. That's not the K2 DSP with real-time clock. That has a different process to set it. So I'm going to go through and show you how to set it if you have the KAF2 audio filter module with real-time clock. And the reason I want to do it, if I hit display here, show you that my clock says 092647. It should be 0627 or maybe 0628, something like that. So it definitely needs to be reset. If I hit band plus and band minus together, you can see it's the 30th of December 2022. And that's actually correct per the uh, display down here. So we don't need to change the date, but uh, the way they set up this procedure is you have to make the changes right after power up and it seems that you have to change the day and date first before you set the time again maybe to keep you from altering things while you're running i'm not sure but we'll power off we only get a few seconds so we'll go through this fairly quickly after we power back up so when we power up i'm going to hit the display button to get back to the time and then we're going to hit hold band plus and minus together to switch to the day and date display and then we can start the change or the uh, the adjustment process so we'll power up there's lcraft and the frequency display i hit display once there's the time i hold band plus and minus together there's day month and year you can see if i if i touch or tap i will increment the day by one there's 30 to 31 it takes about a second if i hit if you see I hold band minus, I changed the month. If I hold band plus, I change the month back. And then if I tap band minus, I can change the day back to 30. Okay, so now our date and time, oh, pardon me, the day and date are correct. I'm gonna hold band plus and band minus together again. Now we're in clock mode and you can see we're kind of messed up. So in this one, if I tap, I change the minute. And if I hold, I change the hour. So the first thing I'm going to do is decrement the hour. From 09, I'll hold band minus. There's 08. Hold again. 07. You can see down below, we need to get to 06. I'll hold it one more time. There's 06. Now, we've got to get to 30. And you can see we're at 10 or 11 seconds after the hour. And I found that if I flip the minute over about two seconds before the top of the hour, that seems to synchronize with the UTC by the time the change actually happens. So the first thing I'll do is, uh, we have to be careful here, we don't increment the wrong thing. So we want to increment, this is 0628, so I want to increment the minutes. So I want taps to do that. So I'll try one tap now. This should increment the minute from 28 to 29. Now we want to increment it to 30 because we're coming around to 31 and at two seconds before the hour I'll increment it again. It'll set to 31 and reset the seconds. So there's four, there's two seconds before. Now I think we're about synchronized if you look at that. Four is a five, six. So big giant exhale that we've got the clock and the day and date set correctly after about five tries so hopefully that helped you get through it remember that tapping is minutes or days and holding is hours or months you have to do it right after power up you hit display and then band plus and band minus together and things should go pretty well so good luck thanks for watching